G'day guys, Socket here. Um, I thought I'd take a quick break from making the time alignment videos to jump in and cover off a topic that I was discussing with uh, Race Engineer and Captain Beard um, in the comments um, around uh, measurement levels and all of that type of stuff. Uh, the guys were um, trying to do their tunes and uh, there's a little bit of confusion about you know how to set my levels and things. Now, a lot of these things I've covered already in a previous uh, viewers question called measurement levels and speaker dynamics where you know that covers things like uh, you know what target level should you aim for and the, the noise floor and how to calibrate RU uh, to make sure that the SPL levels on your graphs are correct and that's really what I want to talk about today uh, so when you go into REW and you look at this scale down the side um, and you might say oh you know I've taken my measurement here at 97 0.97 decibels right and this one over here is you know 93.5 um, and that would be true if you've calibrated this scale using the REW SPL meter tool um, so otherwise this scale doesn't really mean much and you could be thinking that for example you know this measurement's 82 but in fact it's really not it could be louder or quieter um, than that uh, because this scale is not calibrated automatically. So let me just pull up a clip and show you how to do that calibration. Okay, so before we start taking measurements, I just want to calibrate the measurement microphone against the test signal so that we've got the um, scale on the graphs uh, properly calibrated. Um, now, often you'll get a pop-up about this and I usually click through because I'm not really that interested but today I'll show you how to do that um, calibration very quickly so here in REW there is a uh, an SPL or a sound pressure level meter uh, tool up here in the toolbar um, you can just click on that and um, you just turn this uh, little tool on and off using this uh, red button but it allows you to either log your sound pressure levels if you're trying to measure background noise or something or uh, calibrate your microphone against a, a test signal um, and so today we're going to do the calibration so we'll click on that and we will get a little window with uh, a pull down that allows you then to select either a REW generated calibration signal or an external signal and because we're doing analog mic sweeps and REW is connected to the DSP via uh, audio interface, we're going to select a REW calibration signal so that REW can generate the signal through um, the speaker that we've selected, in this case, uh, the left mid. So um, all we do is click on OK. Now we can hear the test signal in the background. Um, and now we'll take uh, your sound pressure level meter, so mine is an app on my phone, and I place that next to the measurement microphone. You can see the numbers jumping around a bit, and we want to pick a number that's kind of in the middle, so that's kind of uh, 81.6, feels about right to me, and then we hit finish. Then we'll get a pop-up that says the maximum sound pressure level that you can measure with this calibration is 124 dB. That's perfectly fine. I don't expect any of the measurements that I'm going to do with any of the speakers today are going to get anywhere near 124 dB. So um, I'll just click OK. And that is the calibration of the mic versus the text signal done. Um, and so we can close the tool. And uh, if I just jump into the, and do a quick sweep measure of the, um, the left mid that we were just using, um, we'll just check that that's recorded properly and everything's set at the right level. So that's the sweep and here's the measure. And you know, if I run my cursor through, you know, about there, it tells me that you know, I've measured this at you know, 83.9, call it 84. 84 decibels, which is about the sound level that I've got set on my head, head unit, where I've got it turned up to about two thirds of maximum volume. Um, normally you want to sort of measure somewhere between 75 and maybe 90 dB. So this is um, right in the sweet spot. So it looks like everything's ready to go. That's how you do your, uh, calibrate your microphone to the test, um, to your test level uh, volume. Um, 
and so let's go get on and do some EQ work. So there you go guys that is the way that you calibrate your REW um, sound pressure level meter and you can make sure that your graph is now recording the same decibel level as your microphone. So um, now do I do that every time I go and do my measurements? Absolutely not, I'm way too lazy for that. Um, but that means that when I am looking at my graphs I do know that the scales are not, not, not accurate and that's perfectly fine by me. Um, so guys, I hope you found that helpful. I'll drop the links to those uh, videos uh, in the description if you're interested in looking at it a bit more. But for Race Engineer and Captain Beard, I hope that uh, helps and um, good luck with your tuning adventures. Thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next episode.